As scuba divers, we all know that we need lead to sink, but there are lots of different ways of attaching it to ourselves. Hi, I'm Mark from Simply Scuba. Let's take a closer look at weight systems. Traditional webbing weight belt with a stainless steel buckle. So this is your most traditional type of weight belt. This is webbing which is two inches wide that goes through a stainless steel buckle. It's quick release, it's easy to use and simple to adjust. Traditional webbing weight belt with a nylon buckle. These types of weight belts are exactly the same as the previous one except the buckle is made out of a lighter nylon material. So it's lighter for travel but it's a bit more fragile so don't drop your cylinder on it. Padded pocket weight belt. Some weight belts now have integrated pockets built into them so this allows you to put your lead exactly where it is without having that heavy lead block directly against your hips. So they're a bit more comfortable, you do have control over where the lead is and they're a bit easier to load up. Weight vest. Weight vests allows you to hold all of the weight of your weight belt up over your shoulders. They have integrated pockets around the waist. They have quick release buckles as well, so it's very easy to ditch your lead if you need to. And they're a bit more comfortable than just a traditional weight belt. On the back, they also have trim weight pockets, so you can really adjust where your lead is around your body. A BCD with integrated weight pockets. Many BCDs today come with integrated weight pockets. So these have a separate pouch that's attached onto the BCD with a quick tug of the handle you can release the lead which is held inside. So a small little pouch, put your lead inside of that and then it clicks into your BCD quick and easy with a very secure fixture. A Marseille weight belt. The Marseille weight belt is more for free divers. These have a traditional belt style closure which is still quick release but everything's much bigger and chunkier just to allow it to release quicker. The rubber material holds the weights in position so you don't have to fold over the belts like a traditional webbing style and holds the weight block in position. Ankle weights. Ankle weights sit around your ankle. They clip around usually with some kind of pinch clip release. This allows you to spread the lead down towards your ankles, especially if you have floaty legs or if you're diving in a dry suit. And this just helps you trim nice and horizontal without your legs floating up. Free diving weight vest. Free diving weight vests sit around your back a bit like a backpack and you put the lead inside these little sections along your back so it's nice and close to your body, up around your shoulder blades, so that keeps you in a nice horizontal position in the water. Across the chest, of course, you have a quick release mechanism, so undo that and the weight vest will just slip off if you ever need to ditch it. And you also have a little crotch strap just to hold it down so it doesn't ride up. Solid lead block. So this is your most traditional type of lead. This is coated lead, so it's a bit more resilient. You have two slots to thread a two inch webbing band through it, and they come in different sizes. You get 500 grams up to a kilo, two kilos up to even five kilograms. Flex weights. Flex weight is the same amount of lead but in a much thinner profile. So these are designed for integrated weight pockets in your BCD so they slot in a bit neater and some of them even have a bit of flex in them so you can bend them to the shape so you can curve them around your waist. Lead shot. Lead shot is tiny pellets of lead weight and they're normally put into some kind of canvas bag to hold them in a certain weight. They're much more flexible, so it can be more comfortable around your waist, but they do take a bit longer to dry out after a dive. P-weight. P-weights are for people that are diving with a back plate. They're shaped to fit in the recess down your spine, and they have attachment points so that you can fit your twinning screws through them and bolt them onto your system. V-weight. A V-weight is a chunk of lead molded into the shape of a V. These sit in between your twin cylinders, so they're only for twin set divers, and they sit between the back plate and your twin set. So it holds it nice and close to your body, where there's not much space, so you can add some lead. Weight retainers. Weight retainers are either metal or plastic, and they're simple devices that hold your lead block in position on your weight belt, so it cannot slip either side. Trim weight pockets. 
Trim white pockets are small pouches that can be slotted onto any two inch webbing band like your cam bands. And it's just a small pouch that have a little pinch clip and a bit of Velcro to hold it closed. Pop some lead inside of that. That way you can put some lead wherever you want anywhere on your BCD. So that was a good look at weight systems. What type of weight systems do you use when you're diving? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and safe diving.